Once upon a time, in a humble fishing village by the shimmering sea, there lived a fisherman named Samuel and his loving wife, Amelia. They led a simple but contented life in their cozy cottage, finding joy in the bountiful gifts of nature. Samuel would cast his net into the ocean each day, grateful for the fish that provided sustenance for their small family. One sunny morning, as Samuel cast his net into the sparkling waters, he felt a strong tug. With excitement, he pulled his catch ashore, only to find a magical fish shimmering in his hands. The fish had a gleaming golden tail and spoke with a voice that echoed like gentle waves. Dear fisherman, the magical fish said, I possess the power to grant your heart's desires. If you release me back into the sea, I will fulfill any wish you desire. Samuel, surprised and intrigued, thought for a moment. He knew that his life was already filled with happiness and contentment. He gently released the fish back into the water, saying, Thank you, noble fish, but I have all that I need. I am grateful for the abundance that surrounds me. As Samuel returned home to share his encounter with Amelia, they smiled at each other, appreciating the richness of their simple life. However, Amelia's curiosity and desire for more began to stir within her heart. She yearned for grandeur and riches beyond their wildest dreams. Days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months. One day, while Samuel was out fishing, Amelia spotted the magical fish once again, its golden tail glimmering in the sunlight. Unable to resist the temptation, she called out to the fish, Oh, magical fish, I wish for a grand castle and all the riches in the world. Instantly, the ocean swirled and twisted, and a magnificent castle materialized before her eyes. Amelia's heart swelled with delight as servants attended to her every need and piles of gold and jewels surrounded her. She reveled in her newfound wealth, but the more she received, the more she wanted. However, as the days passed, Amelia's greed grew insatiable. The grand castle no longer brought her happiness, and she craved even greater power and wealth. Restless and unsatisfied, she called upon the magical fish once again, demanding, Oh, magical fish, I wish to be queen of the land and ruler over all. In an instant, her wish was granted, and Amelia ascended to the throne, adorned in regal attire and surrounded by loyal subjects. But as she sat upon her majestic throne, she realized that power alone could not fill the emptiness within her. The weight of her desires became a burden, and she longed for the simple joys and contentment she once knew. Meanwhile, Samuel, who had returned from his fishing trip, observed the transformation in his wife. He witnessed her endless pursuit of wealth and power, which had brought nothing but discontentment. Concerned for her well-being, he approached Amelia, gently reminding her of the happiness they had shared in their humble cottage. Touched by Samuel's words, Amelia realized the depth of her folly. She recognized that true happiness couldn't be found in material possessions or status but rather in the love, gratitude, and contentment they had cherished before. With a heavy heart, Amelia sought out the magical fish once more and humbly asked for forgiveness. Oh, noble fish, she said, I have learned a valuable lesson about the dangers of greed and the true meaning of contentment. Please, restore our simple life and the happiness we once knew. The magical fish, wise and compassionate, granted Amelia's request. The grand castle vanished, and Amelia returned to Samuel, embracing the simplicity and joy they had once treasured. They lived out their days in gratitude for the abundant blessings that surrounded them, cherishing the beauty of their humble cottage and the love that bound their hearts. And so, dear friends, let the tale of the fisherman and his wife serve as a reminder that true happiness is found not in the pursuit of material wealth, but in the contentment and gratitude for the blessings we already possess. May it inspire us to appreciate the simple joys and cherish the love that fills our lives, for therein lies the true treasure. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this story and learned something valuable from it. Don't forget to like the video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated with our latest amazing and beautiful stories.